Hello, in this video tutorial you are going to learn how to generate or create CSR certificate sign-in request in IS8 on Windows Server 2012 by Sachin Semi powered by itzoz.com. This video tutorial is divided into 5 parts and you are watching part 2. So without wasting any more time let's start from where we have left earlier. Let's open Chrome browser. Okay, earlier in our tutorial we have bought this SSL certificate. This is standard SSL certificate for one year. As you can see we have bought this from godaddy.com. Now this is my account basically that is Sachin Sami, my name and now I'm going to click on setup. Once you have clicked on setup this will bring up a selection window. Here it shows how many SSL credits we have. Now we only have one credit in our account. This SSL credit will expire on 26-10-2014. Now let's click on setup. Okay, as you can see SSL certificate added successfully. Now let's close this. Okay. Right now it is showing blank. Okay, let's refresh the browser. Just hold on for a second. Okay. Now expand the SSL certificate by clicking on the plus sign. And here you can see new certificate standard SSL okay the expiry date of the SSL certificate is 9-26-2014 now let's click on launch now this will take us to manage certificate window okay here it says where is your certificate going to be hosted with GoDaddy hosting or third party dedicated server or virtual dedicated server now we have our own server so we are going to select the second option Okay, now we are going to go to our server to generate the CSR. So we are going to connect to the server using remote desktop. Let's click on start and run. Type mstsc. If you don't know how to configure remote desktop, you can check it out our video on remote desktop. I have given the link in the description tab of this video. Okay, so I'm going to type here the server IP address that is 192.168.1.100 that is our local server so let's click on connect okay it is connecting please hold on for a second click on yes okay now we are on Windows Server 2012 machine in Internet Explorer let's type the URL of the website which we are going to configure for SSL that is demo ssl dot it oops sorry that is ssl dot it zoz dot com okay let's hit enter this is a demo website which I have created for this tutorial you can also download this website I have given the link at the description of this video so now let's close the Internet Explorer okay and let's open server manager go to tools and click on internet information services let us expand the server node okay here you can see sites and here you will see the website which we have configured for the SSL which we have just opened in Internet Explorer as you can see right now it is working on port 80 now let's click on server 1 node okay this will bring up the server wide configuration menu which is over here let's go to the section IS okay in the IS section you will see server certificates okay let's open the server certificates configuration okay double click on it here it says use this feature to request and manage certificates that the web server can use with websites configured for SSL okay so now from the action pane click on create certificate request this brings up the request certificate window here it says specify the required information for the certificate okay so the first is common name let us check it out what is common name it is a fully qualified domain name FQDN this is a URL for which you plan to use your SSL certificate. Let's see the SSL certificate issued for www.itzoz.com Okay, which is this one 
is not valid for demo SSL dot it z o z dot com so you have to remember this now we are back on our server let us type down the fully qualified domain name that is demo SSL dot it z o z dot com now the next column is organization here you have to type the name in which your business is legally registered the organization must be the legal registrant of the domain name in the certificate request so in the organization name I am going to type ITZOZ just hold on for a second okay now next is organization unit use this field to differentiate between divisions within organizations such as IT HR or accounts in my scenario I am going to type IT okay the next column is city and location here you have to type the full name of the city in which your organization is registered or located so I am going to type the location that is New Delhi just hold on for a second let me type it down okay the next column is state or province here you have to type full name of the state or province where the organization is located in my case I am going to type Delhi now now the last column is country or region I am going to select India that is IN okay now let's click next now we are on cryptographic service provider properties on the cryptographic service provider we are going to select the default which is Microsoft RSA S channel cryptographic provider in bit length select 2048 okay that is 2048 now let's click next okay now we are on file name specify the file name for the certificate request here we are going to define a file name and the path for the CSR to be saved that is certificate sign in request okay so I am going to select desktop and I am going to put the name that will be very very descriptive that is demo SSL dot it dot com let's click open now it is showing the full path over here let's click on finish okay once you have clicked on finish the CSR the certificate sign-in request has been saved on to the desktop so let's go to desktop and check it out let's minimize the server manager okay here is our CSR this is basically a text file as we forgot to add .txt at the end of the file it is showing like this let's type .txt over here click yes let us double click on the file it will open into notepad okay now this is CSR certificate sign in request let's close the text file okay now I'm going to copy this to my local machine let's right click and copy let's minimize the remote desktop and I am going to paste this text file on my local desktop that is my local machine okay so this completes the second part of this tutorial don't forget to watch the next part of this tutorial that will be part 3 process the CSR with certification authority and get the SSL certificate hello friends thank you for watching our this video tutorial if you like this video give it a thumbs up Subscribe to receive an email update whenever we post a new video. Share it with your technical IT friends. If you are facing any technical problem or have any suggestions, post your comment here or catch me on Google+, Hangout, Facebook, Twitter and Skype. This video tutorial is presented by Sachin Sami powered by itzoz.com and you are watching this on YouTube.